Hey guys, I am going to do a mobilization for you today that will help you with any shoulder issues. I've been doing um, some a lot of pull-ups lately because one of my goals is to do five unassisted pull-ups by the end of the year, so we'll see how that goes. But um, that's going to cause, I've, I go to the chiropractor a lot and always get my, in between my shoulder blades, cracks. It always needs to be cracked. Um, but what I like to do is use, again, a mobility ball and really get in the, the in between the spine and the shoulder blade. That's where you kind of want to place it. You can go all the way, uh, you can start at the bottom or the top and then work your way down in between your uh, spine and your shoulder blade. Uh, and then you do, I'll show you the movement you do with your arm. And you're going to just, you'll probably see that in the first moments, uh, that my range of motion isn't so great uh, and as I go through the motions I'll be able to go further into the motion I'm just going to show you instead of talking about it so um, let's see we're going to place this ball I'm going to get rid of my hair we're going to place this ball kind of like in between your like I said the spine and your shoulder blades so somewhere around there so just kind of lay on your back. I'm gonna shove the ball in there. I'm gonna start kind of up at the top. Am I on the screen here? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, so that's already a bit tight and painful. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with the arm down by your side here, and you're gonna slowly raise it overhead. And you're gonna, f oh, you have some, pain there so this is about as far as comfortable I should be able to get my arm all the way down to the ground but I'm having some difficulty but it should be on the next one so then you're gonna bring that up and you're gonna to reach to the opposite side of your hip oh, which I can't reach because there's a lot of pain resist pain face just try to relax into the ball and there's a tight spot kind of hold it there and then I'm going to bring this arm back and see if I can't go reach my arm further overhead so you can see that that's definitely further than the last time and so I'm going to bring that back so my right hand is coming towards my left hip bone that's also gotten a little bit further. Just try to you can breathe into that too and sink a bit lower into the ball. And then I I usually do three and then two or three depending on how tight it is. And then you're gonna move the ball. So I'm gonna move the ball Ooh, down. Oh my god, it's so painful. Okay. And you're gonna start again with your hand by your side and you're gonna reach overhead. That's really I'm stuck there. Okay, a little bit further. Breathe in and relax. Try to relax if it's painful and then you're gonna bring again your right arm to your left hip try to relax and then we're gonna go again Okay, so you can do that on um, basically, it's in between your spine and your rib cage. So don't like put the ball in your spine, but kind of nestle it in there and you're gonna probably find quite a lot of tight spots. So again, the motion is you wanna raise your arm directly over your head. So it's like you're in a, a full press position uh, and then lower that arm to the opposite hip side across your body. 
um, let me know how that goes. Uh, really try it out because it's quite fascinating <laughs> how jacked up that can get in there and uh, how much restriction you can have. So let me know how it goes and uh, more mobilizations to come. Again, tell me if you have any like stiff places and if you don't think you do, try this mobilization because you probably are stiff.